Well, hello. Um, this is why I have to bring you to do this. Uh, I need to tell you that there's no way I'm going to be able to help you with any of the things that I'm going to be using if you're not pH in your water. Uh, this you can get on Amazon. Um, you get one that puts more acid into it. You get one... I think that neutralizes it. Anyway, it's your base. And this is your little tester, and I'm going to show you how it works. This is how you drop your little drops in. And this is a little vial that you take your water out with. I already purified my water, and that doesn't mean anything. Let me see if you can see it. Okay. And you put three to five drops in. Three is usually good for me. Let me see if I can see that on there. What we're looking for, make sure you can still see that. Is staying within the neutral zone here. And I am in the neutral zone. I usually like it to be just a tad greener, but that's a good that's a good result for me. I know I would go with that, but I'm not applying the products today. I just wanted to tell you how important this is. And that none of the information I give you is going to be helpful. As a matter of fact, it might be hurtful. I just want to show you how to add these drops if you need to because, well, I would be happier if it was a little bit more green. It doesn't take a lot. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to test it again because, well, I wouldn't have been happy with that, actually. <laughs> I'd try to pretend like I would be, but I really wouldn't. I'm going to dump this out and try again. Sometimes the different products can hurt your plants. Even if you already are not um, pH in your water, it could be harmful to your plants. Or you won't be getting the best benefit out of your plant that you can. So the fertilizer that I'm going to use is, um, let's see if we get a better result there. That's a little bit too neutral for me. I'm going to use some blue. Um, after you're done fertil after you're done adding the fertilizer to your water, you have to pH it again to make sure that you've done it right. Oh, that's way too much. So can you see that? We're just dropping in a few drops. Try to raise it up some. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to leave it alone at this point because I have nothing to water. The foliar spray that I'm going to introduce is, um, can you see that? Okay, it's uh, for pests and it's mostly citrus based. So um, it's all organic. I will leave in my description below on that product how I gained the information. I had to go, like I said, to the cannabis growers, and how's that? Well, you know, for me right now, that's close enough to the neutral zone. I hit the camera, sorry. It's right in there. I usually like to keep it like right in through here. That's all I have for you today, though, and I was talking about that spray. That looks like about right for now. Uh, it's what they use. It's it's safe. I think it's safer than what I've been doing. But uh, we'll try that out tomorrow. But I do need you to get a pH tester and at least um, test your water. Because 
I'm afraid that any information I give you might backfire if your water isn't pH properly. I think you can get this basically anywhere. They have some very high-tech pens and stuff that you can use and just stick it in the water and test it. But this is the one. It was actually a gift from the cannabis growers. Because <laughs> I'm always asking so many questions. And they're always saying, you know, we're not growing tomatoes and peppers and onions here. And I say, I know, I know, but it's the same concept. So they gave me some great information. I'll link, the I'll link in my description down below um, the link to their site. Because without their help, all the gardening uh, shows I've been watching haven't even come close to the information that I've gained from them. So that's all for today. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I know that I will. And I will talk to you later. Bye.